Welcome back guys to another episode of Cooking with Stevens. Today we got something special lined up for you. We're going to be doing a molten lava cake with a little Lola's hot sauce in the middle. It's delicious. It's a recipe I've made a handful of times before. Always turns out great. We're going to show you how to do that start to finish. First thing, first we're going to grease, we're going to grease our containers and put them in the cooler for a little bit. Just to, so ready? I'm going to grease them. Grease them. Grease them. I hit them with another round. You want them really good so they'll just pop right out. We're going to add some flour to it also. Flour will also help it not stick. Uh, we have a couple, two parts. Thing. First things, I'm going to make the truffle, which is the little insert middle of the, the lava cake. Basically, what it is is just going to be a melted chocolate ball. I'm going to, I have a double boiler going. I'm going to have, I have some chocolate chips. I'm going to add some cream to it. Which, We'll melt that out, the cream, but the cream does, it will smooth it out, the chocolate, easier to form into balls when we get it all done. Five minutes or so, should be about there. It's almost there. Once it gets more done, I'm going to add the bolas to it, which will add a little oomph to the product. Alright, I'm going to add the bolas now. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons. Or if you're dangerous, the whole bottle. So I'm not that dangerous. There you go. See how the cream makes it more, um, well, creamy. The, the, if you melt chocolate chip normally, it'll just be clumpy. You want a more smooth texture. There you go. I'm just gonna turn it off. I'm gonna double steps. I'm gonna put this in the ice bath. To cool it off a little quicker for you guys. But normally you can just put throw it in the cooler, let it sit for like half an hour or something, or uh, half an hour to hour. But right now I'm just going to put it in, it's going to mix around, get the surface area on there nice and cool. And then we'll, as we wait, have this cool down, we're going to make our batter for the bottom cake. We're going to start our cake batter. We're going to start by melting some chocolate chips and some butter. These are a uh, dark chocolate. I believe they're a 65% dark chocolate. The uh, flavor of the dark chocolate and the Lola's really blend well together, so we're going to go with that. Next, we're going to take a half a cup of brown sugar. We're going to take three eggs. pinch of salt, and about a teaspoon of vanilla. We're just going to incorporate that butter into the chocolate. We just want this to melt together. We don't want to actually cook it. Just give this a quick stir until it's nice and smooth. We're going to kill the heat on that. We're going to go ahead and move that over to our ice bath just to cool it down enough that it won't cook our eggs when we add it to our cake mix. Same deals with the truffles. You can just pop this in the cooler for a little bit. You can let it sit on the table for a few minutes. 
Mainly we just want to bring the temperature down so it doesn't scramble those eggs when we add them together. It can sit for just another minute or two. We're going to start whisking all that together. What will happen here is the brown sugar will incorporate with the eggs. Using a whisk will add oxygen to the mixture and that's what's going to make your cake nice and fluffy. And we're going to go ahead and beat this until it turns kind of a pale yellowish color. See it's starting to foam up a little bit. That's from those eggs. It means we're getting close. All right, our egg and sugar mix is nicely blended. See it's pretty much foam throughout. There's very little liquid left in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our chocolate. Then also we're gonna add in about an ounce and a quarter of flour. Make sure this gets mixed together. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our ramekins that we've already greased and we're gonna make our cakes. All right, now we're gonna take this, our cake batter, and we're gonna fill these a little less than halfway full. Right, we got enough for seven. We're just gonna set him aside. We wanna keep about half our cake batter left over here to fill these up once we get our truffles in the middle. All right, now we're going to add the truffle. I, I split it up into pretty much equal parts. I'll, so if you have seven, I'm probably going to try to squeeze out the seventh one. But uh, basically, it's cooled down. I'm just going to make, make a little ball out of it. Just kind of set it in there nicely in the middle. Kind of push it, push it down just a little bit. Come back with the rest of our cake batter. Right over the top. These will rise when they're cooking, so we're not gonna fill them completely full. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven. It's gonna take anywhere from 12 to 16 minutes at 350 degrees. These are done. When they start to crack on top, that's how you know they're ready to go. Shane's going to go ahead and we're going to run a paring knife just around the outside to loosen it up. And if we greased our bowls well enough, they should pop right out of there. I'm going to go ahead and decorate our plate a little bit too. Let's see what she looks like inside. It's like an explosion nice of flavor. Nice gooey chocolate it's center. We're going to add a little vanilla ice cream with that. A little sprinkle of powdered sugar. And there you have it. Case. Yes, they are as delicious as they look. We uh, made tested this recipe yesterday, and we made maybe a dozen, and I think there's two left. Yes. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you've got a suggestion for what you'd like to see us do next, 
Or if you have any questions for Shane or myself or our staff here, let us know in the comments below. And we'll see you next week with another video.